But now in a yet another move which could trigger political storm, the president today appointed former Supreme Court Judge Justice Abdul Nazir as the new Andhra Pradesh governor. Now this comes just over a month after Justice Nazir retired as a Supreme Court judge. He was part of the Supreme Court bench which dismissed pleas challenging demonetization in his last case. Remember, Justice Nazir was also part of the Constitution bench that delivered the historic Ayodhya Ram Janmabhoomi judgment. My colleague Harish is joining me live right now to get us more details. Harish, a very good afternoon to you. But uh, clearly, as far as uh, Justice Nazir's appointment as the Andhra Pradesh governor is concerned, that has definitely raised a lot of eyebrows. Uh, in a sense, the opposition parties feel that uh, there is a sense of reward by way by which he is being appointed as the Andhra Pradesh governor. Is there any merit is this, in this? Is there any cooling of time once a Supreme Court judge retires from his office? to be able to assume another constitutional charge like the governor in a state. Yes, Samia, post-retirement job, uh, post-retirement assignment for any Supreme Court, retired Supreme Court judge has always been a controversy and those who are opposed to it had, uh, as you rightly said, suggested a cooling, mo cooling off period of at least uh, two to three years. Otherwise, uh, they said that there is bound to uh, trigger. Uh, allegations of quid pro quo, and in this in this case, uh, of, of definitely allegations are bound to rise that uh, Abdul Nazir was being rewarded uh, for being part of the Supreme Court Ayodhya bench, which had cleared the decks for the Ram Mandir uh, construction of Ram Mandir. Remember, and also on the day of retirement, that is a month back, January 4, 2023, on the day of retirement, uh, Abdul Nazir had uh, Justice Abdul Nazir had headed the Constitution bench, which had uh, this missed a batch of petitions which had challenged the uh, Modi government's demonetization move in November 2016, whereby, uh, in fact, uh, notes of rupees 500 and 1,000 were demonetized. So uh, these two are the big cases. And, and in the Triple Talak case, however, uh, Abdul Nazir had dissented. And the last, uh, last instance when a Supreme Court judge was appointed as the governor of a state is the case of uh, the then Chief Justice uh, P. Sata Shivam, who was appointed as the uh, governor of Kerala. And before that, uh, Justice Fatima Bibi was the uh, was a governor uh, in between 2000, uh, 1997 and 2001. She had retired from the Supreme Court in 1995. So as of now, uh, this uh, decision has just come. And as the, the Justice Abdul Nazir has been appointed as the governor of Andhra Pradesh. And as you rightly said, this is bound to trigger a political storm in the coming days. As, the, as, as I earlier said, uh, the uh, post-retirement job for a Supreme Court judge, and that too, the, uh, this fast, the, because uh, he had just retired one month back the, on January 4, 2023. Right. And, and this... Uh, uh, in such Absolutely, Harish, and like you were mentioning, that there should have been a designated cooling off period. Otherwise, it's going to be seen as a quid pro quo. And we shall keep coming back to you to get us more details as and when there are more political reactions that uh, come in as far as uh, Justice Nazir's appointment uh, as uh, Andhra Pradesh's governor is concerned.